Coach, you had talked uh, at the end of last season about kind of revamping recruiting mm -hmm. practices and, and adding to staff for that. Uh, how do you feel like that process has gone? Uh, obviously, results, mm -hmm. uh, early results are very good mm -hmm. to this point. Yeah. Yeah, I think that thing has gone really well for us. You know, we went through a period of there from, in 2020 and 2021 where we couldn't hire anybody in, in the recruiting department. So we were able to, this past fall, able to come back and start hiring and, and getting that department built back up. Um, we're still hiring now. I mean, we're still bringing it up. Um, but it's been really good. You know, the relationships that we've been able to cultivate over the last year and a half with these high school players um, are really starting to pay off. I, I think, you know, we've, we've had some great visits with families that have come in here. Um, we've gotten some commitments out of some guys that, that like to help the recruiting process that's really kind of helped that out. Um, you know, so you put all those things together, and I think that's why we're able to, you know, be sitting where we are in recruiting, you know. And, um, you know, but recruiting is something that never stops. Uh, it, it's every day, right. you know, and we got to keep, keep working it. NIL has obviously changed things considerably. One-time transfers have changed mm -hmm. things. Is it the Wild West out there? Mm -hmm. are, are there needs for more mm -hmm. restrictions? Yeah, it feels like the Wild West. I think, you know, we just got back from our ACC meetings uh, two weeks ago, and, and, and everybody's saying the same thing, all the coaches. Uh, you know, it, it, there's not any rules right now. I feel like it's just everywhere a guy can just jump into Portland and be gone the next day. Um, you know, there, there's – and to me, that's the biggest thing, I think, that we really need to look at to say, all right, when – you know, what's the window's going to be? You know, when can we, can we jump into Portland? When can we leave to be eligible for next year? Because that's the biggest thing. You know, if a guy can leave right now, then they're, they're – and you have NIL, so now there's enticing involved. I mean, there's a lot of things good that go on with that. So um, – and I think as coaches and as programs, you don't want to every single day have to worry about is, you know, is your starting whatever going to leave. You know, and I think that's kind of where we are right now. So hopefully we can hone that in and have some windows to where, you know, guys can only leave in certain parts of the season. Yeah, and you've dealt with some of that already. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you lost some, some pretty key receivers, Tyler Harrell mm -hmm. after spring ball. Mm -hmm. Uh, you talked about maybe there could have been some tampering going on with that, with Alabama. I guess that's just something that everybody's got to deal, yeah. deal with at this point? Yeah, I think everybody's dealing with it. You know, I think everybody's dealing with it. You know, there, there's players that are – there's still players that are getting calls now. You know, they, they may be trying to call a, a high school coach or, or a parent or, you know, and, and so – It's kind and of never-ending. And there's, it's never-ending. And, you know, so I think for us, you know, you know, we just try to treat our players right. We try to, you know, train them the best we can mm -hmm. and – build them up the best we can and hope develop them to a great players and, and hope they want to be a part of our program. And I think, you know, it comes down to relationships and, and I get it. There's some great programs out there, historically great programs that sometimes when they come calling that, hey, that's very enticing, you know, to a, a young player. And, uh, you know, but we're all dealing with this. But hopefully we'll be able to, you know, get some rules in place and, 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 and move forward with, you know, hey, we've, we've benefited on the other side of that. I mean, we, we've collected probably 12 transfers that are coming right. in that's going to help our team win this year. So, so we not only have we lost a few, but I, but I feel like we've had a net gain by bringing pl good players in. Is the biggest challenge just, just trying to kind of balance uh, position groups in that yeah. when, when you don't know who's staying or, or No or question. That, the biggest challenge is roster management. You know, as you look at, a, you know, just pick a position. It doesn't matter. All right, what are your numbers at that position and where are we at? You know, or do we anticipate anybody leaving? You know, who do we need to try to bring in? Right. Where do we need help? You know, I, I think as a coach, you sit back and, uh, where's our deficiencies? Like, where do we need to get a little bit better? And maybe that's where you maybe try to go out and find somebody that's played um, that can come in and, and, and really help your team. So I think roster management is the, one of the hardest things we have to deal with. You're starting your fourth year. First year clearly exceeded, mm -hmm. I think, everybody's expectations. Last couple of years have been dealing with COVID mm -hmm. and, and maybe not as good as mm -hmm. hoped. Where do you feel like this program is? Uh, is it where you had hoped mm -hmm. it would be at this point? Yeah, I, I feel like we're in a really good spot right now going into year four. Um, although, you know, going through 2020 was the most difficult year in the history of everybody. Of history. <laughs> in the history, yeah. yeah. Uh, particularly for me in football. I, you know, my world, it was the, obviously the toughest year, you know, where you couldn't. You know, we're such a big relationship-oriented staff and, and, and program the way we do things, and you, we had cut everything out for basically two years. This past spring was the first time our coaches have been on the road recruiting since 2019. We're in 2022. I mean, some people, people forget that. You know, it's like it almost the world stopped in football terms and for two years. And you go out and you play games, you don't even have your, your roster. I mean, and yet you're still gauged on wins and losses. You know, it's, it's, right. it's very difficult as a football coach. But I, but I feel like now, you know, this in all, in a lot of instances of purchase, this is like year two. 
in, in my mind because mm -hmm. you had the first year. Now we had this, this past offseason has been like it was that first year. We've gone back doing the same things that we used to do. And so we're kind of back with that. Um, I, I love our team. I love our, um, our veteran leadership that we had this year. Um, I feel like uh, this, this group right here is, is you know, you know, training with the chip on their shoulder right now. Um, you know, but, you know, we came into this program, didn't win an ACC game the year before we got here. We won two games. <laughs> right. we've, been, we've been two out of three years at the bowl games. I mean, you know, in a lot of intensive purposes, that's pretty good. And, you know, I think this year, obviously, people want us to, to, to contend for championships, and that's what we're here for, and that's our goal this year. Were you too good the first year? Well, shoot, we're trying to win them all. I mean, we're trying to win all the games, you know. Uh, you know, it was a great year. We, you know, we come from two wins to eight wins and one of the most, the most improved team in the country, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and then COVID hit, you know. Right. It's just a very unfortunate timing for that, obviously. And then, uh, but, you know, we don't go out there to say, all right, how many wins we're going to try to get. We're going to try to win them all, you know. And the same thing this year, it starts with Syracuse in that first game. In the last month or so, uh, Purdue coach Jeff Brown was here in town talking to a group of Flage High School alums, Louisville legend. He talked about the fact that when this job was open in 2019, didn't feel it was right for him. You got the job. Mm -hmm. He also talked about how much he loves the city and the school and maybe in the future, who knows what could happen. Mm -hmm. Didn't know if you had heard about that, uh, if you had, or even if you hadn't. What is your reaction to some of those comments? Yeah, I mean, I heard a little bit about it, but I don't worry about it, you know. Um, you know, he's got a job, I've got a job, you know. So, so I think for, for me, I don't worry about any outside noise, um, distractions, because that's all they are. You know, our job is to wake up every day to do the best job we can possibly do with our team. You know, I owe it to everybody in this building, the 115 players we have in the locker room, the staff that we have running around this building, um, to do the best we can do every single day and um, to put a product on the field that's going to go win championships. And that's what we're here for. Um, and we go win championships, and uh, we're going to keep this thing rolling for years to come. So he may have to wait a little bit more time before he decides <laughs> to come back. What do you like about, about this year's group? Are there certain position groups that you feel are uh, especially strong mm -hmm. or, or maybe some that, that are a little weaker? Yeah, you know, I think uh, really excited about our offensive line. You know, we have about nine players I feel like can go out there and play at a high level. A lot of guys have played over the last two years. Um, you know, I think three seniors up front that are, that are really uh, veteran leadership. I look at our running back room. We have four running backs I think all could start. Um, you know, we brought in Tyon Evans. That's a great player um, from Tennessee. You got, you know, Cooley's an awesome, awesome player. Mitchell started every game for us last yeah. year. And Jal Jordan had a 100-yard kickoff return at the Air Force in the bowl game. And he's, he had looked outstanding this past spring. So really excited about those guys right there. You know, I think, um, I think defensively we're, we're helped ourselves out in the DB room. I, I think by bringing some of these guys in, to me, that's where we were lacking in depth. And then when you lost Trey Clark toward the end of the season with an ACL, yeah. it really brought that down. Duncan didn't play in the bowl game, you know. So we needed to, to bolster that room, which I think we did this offseason. Really excited about some of the guys we brought in. Brownlee's here that started every game at Florida State at corner last year. Um, you know, Quincy Riley led the country in interceptions last year at Middle, who's going to be here. I mean, so there's a lot of good players that I think are going to be, you know, added to that DB room, so I'm excited about it. And then the linebackers, man, Yasir is a great, you know, pass rusher off the edge. Monty Montgomery that we lost in the third game last year. He's, he's, he's been cleared he's to go. He's back, cleared yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Um, so excited to get him back here. Uh, Momo that came in from Ole Miss, I mean, just a great leader. Um, really excited about that linebacker room. You know, a lot of, lot of, lot of experience right there and a lot of depth. Is one of the main challenges now with more guys leaving and more guys coming in to try to mesh groups yeah. together? Yeah, I think that's, that's always a, a case. You know, you want to get the chemistry right with the guys. Um, you know, and so I think about last spring, we brought, I think there was five or six transfers that came in in the midterm. Man, they were awesome. They came right in and just, just <laughs> took to our team and everybody loved them. You know, so that's going to be the case again this summer. So we got a, br a bunch of newcomers, freshmen that are all here new, mm -hmm. that are coming in here, um, and then some transfers that are coming in. So how we mesh once they get here, I think it's going to be critical. Um, and that starts in the weight room. You know, every day these guys are training. Uh, ben Souders, our new strength coach, is coming in and done a fabulous job there in the weight room. So getting that chemistry right in that weight room is going to be critical this summer. Um, and there's some new rules this year where the coaching staff can work with their guys and we can meet with our guys more than we've been able to do in the past. So I think that'll all help uh, once, we, once we get them all here. New strength staff, uh, obviously those are the guys that are working mm -hmm. with these guys quite a bit throughout the year, throughout the summer yep. especially. 
Uh, how do you like what they've been doing so far? Yeah, uh, really good approach, um, what they've been able to do. Um, we saw a lot of gains this past spring. Um, you know, now the guys have been off about three weeks, so now they're back this week. Um, so it'll take about a week. We can have to get everybody back in the groove. Um, but but it's, it's just a really good approach they have. There's going to be mental training involved, where I think now, you know, nowadays the, the mental aspect is, is, is ever more important, I think, yeah. uh, to get that mental edge. We were so close in games last year. You know, our focus this, this summer is all about finish. You know, how can we finish these games? Because we're right there. We're last play, you know, in three games to win these games. And now you're <laughs> right. like talking a bit, you know, six wins, nine, ten wins, you know. So, so finish is, is kind of the aspect this summer. Um, every drill, you know, finishing through the line, everything that we do, let's finish because that's what it's going to take in the fall. You've got a veteran, talented quarterback uh, returning. What areas of improvement would you like to see from Malik Cunningham yeah. this year? Yeah, you know, Malik had a great year last year, close to 4,000 yards, 40 touchdowns. Not many people have done that. Um, right. Some of the things he did was amazing. Um, you know, I think for him, uh, he's played a ton of football, but he can get better. You know, there's times last year where maybe, you know, he took off running when he could have just dumped the ball off. So this spring we worked on sitting in the pocket. You can't run. Like he's, he wants to run, but you can't run. You find the, find the running back, the tight end, dump it off to that's, him. That's not fair for him. I know it. I know <laughs> it. And he, he felt like he was handcuffed a little bit this spring, you know. But, but it worked out. It worked great. He was able to dump the ball off. The guys got it. They made some first downs. You know, now this fall we're going to cut him loose. You know, it, when it's there, you take off running because that, that puts pressure on defenses. You know, they can't stand that. So, but I do think he can be a, a better pocket presence once he's there. And he did that. He showed that this spring. Um, so, it'll be interesting to see this fall how that translates. Has a lack of permanency in the administration uh, been an issue for you? No, no permanent president, no permanent mm -hmm. AD at this point? It has not been an issue for us whatsoever. You know, President Gonzalez has you know, been our president, has, has been very supportive for us this whole all season. Josh Hurd the same way. You know, Josh has been working with football since he's been here. Um, and so, you know, we have a job to do and to go out. And what we've been doing is, you know, trying to get, bring great players into this university um, and then developing our team to be a, a great team in the fall. You know, they've been right there along the way to support us and everything we've done this semester. And I hope, you know, here very soon we'll be able to, you know, have our permanent AD in place, um, you know, and then hopefully a little soon after that get a permanent president. But we have a job to do. We have not slowed down. Do you feel like this fan base fully supports you? There's been some ups and downs? Yeah, well, I mean, I hope, I hope so. You know, we're, you know, if this is truly their team, they, they need to support it. And we're doing everything we can every single day to put a great product on the field. Uh, you know, is it, is it all going to be perfect at all times? No. And it's never going to be perfect. Any program, just look at any of the programs out there in the country. We're going to put a great product on the field. Hopefully they'll be out there to support us. Uh, we, we open up at Syracuse and our first Friday night game against Florida State, it's going to be awesome. So hopefully they'll be here and support us all along the way. Yeah, not an easy way to start the schedule. Uh, it's pretty tough. <laughs> you know, you start with a conference game right off the bat in the Dome at Syracuse, go to the Bounce House in Central Florida where I think they're 30-2 and two in the last five years at home. <laughs> right. And then you play Friday night here against Florida State, who's going to have an improved football team. Uh, you know, but again, we'll take it one game at a time. You know, but we know we need to get off on a, a hot start because you look at the back end of our schedule, I think five out of six teams are ranked top 25. So uh, we got a tough schedule, um, but hey, bring it on. We're ready for it. I guess just finally, what kind of excites you the most uh, heading into year four? I, I think for me, it's, it's the, the veteran leadership that we have on the team. You know, th this team here is the most, it's the most veteran leadership we've had since I've been here. Uh, 17 or 18 seniors that all play. You know, it's not like you've got 18 seniors, but maybe two play. They're all playing. They're players for us. They have a great deal of experience. They've been scarred. Uh, they've had some, some, yeah. some downs. And I think that, that really bodes well for our football team. And then the guys that we've brought in, I hope, hopefully that's going to be a great mixture of, of great players um, that are hungry and that's going to play with a chip on their shoulder. All right. Thank you, All Coach. Right. I appreciate your yep. time. Thank you.